Hi, my name is Paul. My call sign is Alpha Alpha One Sierra Uniform. And I wanted to get your advice on this Heathkit DX60A that's been modified. I want to know what the mods are. And I'm kind of wondering if this is a keeper or if I should sell it as a parts radio or sell it as a working radio. I'm not sure. Uh, I wanted to get into the AM aspect of the hobby and I picked up a couple of transmitters and receivers and then, uh, then I came across this. Uh, the first mod I notice is it has the nice three-prong plug. Uh, another mod is has a different mic connector. And then proceeding on, the can capacitor is missing. The tube in here is missing. Sorry, the tube in there is missing. Um, there's a wire sticking up there. This tube is missing. I get the feeling they're missing on purpose. Going to the back, the BNC connectors for the VFO input and for the antenna. Now going to the underside, this is where things really look different. It's been recapped. You can see new capacitors here, capacitors here, and there's a breadboard here with these four large capacitors on it and new capacitors here. That can capacitor is stuck out here. Uh, this is one of the empty tube sockets and the other empty tube socket is there. So it's been heavily modified, not just recapped. These four big uh, capacitors uh, mean something. I don't know if this changed the uh, audio section of it or the power output section of it. Uh, I'm afraid to plug it in. Um, I don't have a remote VFO with a BNC connector on it, but I think I do have a remote VFO that I could switch over. And I might be able to borrow some crystals that fit this. But I'm curious if you could leave comments, tell me what these mods mean, and um, if you think it's okay to plug it in. Are those tubes missing on purpose? Is it okay to plug it in the way it is and see if it'll uh, put out any uh, power, either on AM or uh, CW? Just trying to show you some more of it here. So, if you can, uh, leave me a comment about what you think these mods are. And if you're not a member of uh, YouTube, you can't leave a comment. My email address is uh, good on QRZ. Again, I'm thinking about keeping it or selling it. And either way, I want to know what, I, what I'm dealing with. If I do sell it, I want to be able to describe it. Thank you very much.